Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another monthly haul. This is the third in my series of my newer format where I'm doing budgeted monthly hauls. And if you're not familiar with the format, I give you like the full rundown in the first one I did this year and I'll link that up in the cards. But just as a quick reminder to those of you who maybe watched it and forgot or didn't want to watch it, whatever. The only money I'm using for nail polish and nail related items is revenue from this channel. So it that counts for like ad revenue. If for some ungodly reason somebody wanted to sponsor me, I would use that money. Uh, I also have a couple of codes and like affiliate links and things like that. So every time those get used, you know, that money adds up and then it pays out and that's the money I use for the month. My budgeting system is everything made in the previous month gets spent on the next month. So like that's how I do it for like my real budget and that's how I decided to do it for my nail budget as well. So for the month of March, I was spending everything I earned in February. Well, not everything, but you know, I, what I earned in February was what I was allowed to spend in March. And I'm also doing rollover. So anything that's left over from the previous month can be rolled over to the next one. I have a couple of exceptions. I, why did I tell you guys to go watch the video and then just explain it all anyways? Whatever. Watch the video. I'm not going to explain anymore. So in the month of March, my total budget was $275.47. The way that breaks down is I had $68.56 rolling over from February. And then in ad revenue and commission payouts, I had $206.91. I hope that adds up to the number I told you I had. I didn't make a ton of purchases this month. I only made three. However, I feel like one of them especially was on the more expensive side, so it did eat into my budget. Um, but yeah, I just, there wasn't a lot that was super appealing to me. A lot of collections coming out right now are obviously spring collections, and spring is not like a season that I love. It's still wet and muddy. Like, I don't know. It's just, I like fall. That's my season. So spring collections are not something that overly appeal to me. I might like one or two from a collection or a full collection here or there, but unlike summer and fall collections where I'm more compelled to buy like a lot more. Spring is kind of my light season when it comes to buying nail polish, I guess. So the very first purchase I made was on March 3rd and that was Polish Pickup. I spent $45.05 and I bought three polishes. Now typically I try to keep it to two when it comes to polish pickup just because it gets out of control so fast on polish pickup because there's so much you want and it's limited time so you're like oh I, I can't ever get it again. I mean you'll probably find one similar but I narrowed my wish list down to six and that was where I started to struggle. Uh, but I did end up, I picked up the Red Eye Lacquer. This one is called Diamond Rain. It has, uh, I think it has these kind of like reflective pieces in it, but it's glow in the dark as well. And it's this multi chromy greenish red. And it was just really interesting. I love glow in the dark stuff. So, I mean, I had to get it. And then I picked up Danny Vienna's Nouvelle V, which is a green flaky. And it's kind of on the sheerer side. I haven't swatched this on my nails yet. Um, probably won't get to before I can post this video. I've been very behind. Uh, but it has a variety of flakes in there. They've got what looks to be like solid multi chromy flakes and then more iridescent flakes that are kind of on the large side, as well as like a greeny yellow shimmer running through it. It's jam packed. I love Danny Vienna. Slowly, maybe not slowly, rapidly becoming one of my favorite brands. And I only pick up a few here or there, but everything that I get blows me away. And then this one I kept putting on my list and taking it off and putting it on and taking it off because I was like, Hillary, you've probably got like six that look like this. And I was like, Hillary, no, you don't. You're fine. You can buy that. And it is sweet and sour lacquers. I'm only happy when it rains. And it's this yellowy green, like a limey green. It has matte black hex glitters and matte black square glitters. It's got some green glitters in there that are similar color to the base. And then it has matte pink glitters and those really stand out. And I just, I, I'm so glad I didn't pass this up because I definitely, as soon as I opened the package, that was the first one where I was like, ooh, I kind of want to wear that. But when I got this package, I was kind of like in a rush. And whenever I get a nail polish package, I do want to open it up 
pretty immediately. Not because I'm like impatient. I mean, it, there is that. But I, I want to make sure that everything's intact so that I'm not like letting it sit for too long. And then I look at it later and I'm like, oh my God, there's a broken one in there. And now I have no recourse. So I cracked it open and we were on our way out the door to the grocery store. And I set the three bottles on the countertop and we're like leaving. And my boyfriend turns back and he goes, Hillary, are those all green? And I was like, yeah, so? And he's like, stop buying greens. And I'm like, why? I love them. And he's like, we went, we just got over this with the blues. All you would buy was blues. Now you're only buying greens. I was like, I'm transferring my color preference. I don't know. I think they're all different enough. It's fine. So yeah, like I said, that was 4505. So then on March 11th, I made another purchase, which that's like eight days in between buying nail polish. That's a long time for me. Uh, I feel as though I have been externally pressured to purchase Mooncat by a certain NYX polish who is in love with Mooncat and always talks about Mooncat and is always telling me how much he wants more Mooncat. And then he sent me this trending greens uh, listing and I was like, why you gotta do this to me? So I bought it because I was like, oh, you know, now is the time. Now is the time that I'll try Mooncat. These handles kind of hurt to hold like this. I feel like I was right about the handle. They are a little awkward. Um, but yeah, I was like, I haven't done a review on my channel in a while. I haven't tried a new brand for myself in a while. I haven't bought eight greens all at once in a while, I guess. Uh, and so I purchased that, which ended up being $109.18, which that was a lot. That, that was a lot of my budget. And that one kind of made me feel like, Ooh, I gotta slow down because I just bought a lot and it was expensive. And I don't even know if I like this brand and I just dropped over a hundred dollars on them. Oof. But I figured it was time to try them. I figured I could do a review on my channel and I figured why not stack the deck a little bit by making it an all green collection. Um, and I will do a full review. I think that's coming next Saturday. But I will tell you, I purchased this eight piece set. They sent me seven of them and I emailed them and was like, hey, you're missing one. And they immediately were like, oh my gosh. And then they sent me the, the eighth one. So like their customer service is really spot on. So even though it was my first time ordering and I was like, really, you forgot one already? I think at least wait till I'm a loyal customer. But they immediately were like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And they sent it out. They didn't ask me any additional questions. They were just like, here you go. And they just made it super easy and like a pretty good experience for me. So yeah, but this, this set is cool in that like, it has a really good variety of finishes, which again, I'm gonna talk about this in my review, but I got, there's two creams in there. There's like, these two are shimmers. This is a hollow. I think this is like a multi-chrome. I think this one is the magnetic. It's cause it came with a magnetic. And then this one is like a multi-chrome, but it also has hollow glitter running through it. So while it was expensive, I liked that it's like a sampler and I liked that they really did spread out the finishes. And I will give you my full thoughts when I actually sit down to do the review. But I will say I don't regret making that purchase. I am enjoying them so far, but I do have like, you know, a review to do. Then on March 14th, the little pie day, I was, I think I was scrolling through Facebook and I got the most targeted ad I've ever received in my life. And it was from a brand called Dipwell, which is a, a dip nail brand. So I'm not into dip. Sometimes I look at it because my sister likes it. And so sometimes I'll try to see like cool brands and like send them to her. But I had never, I wasn't familiar with Dipwell. And I just saw this picture of like Cheetos branded stuff. And I like scroll back up because love Cheetos. Um, and it's like a Cheeto dip line. Like they had a bunch of dip powders that were themed after Cheetos. And I was like, dang, I wish that I would do dip, like dip polish. I keep saying dip and I keep thinking about like chew. And then I just feeling like horror stories back in high school when kids used to chew on the bus and then spit in water bottles and dump it on each other. So 
that's the kind of high school I went to. But yeah, I don't do dip nails and I'm not super interested in doing them because it just seems convoluted and it seems like taking it off is a chore and I already don't like taking off nail polish. I find it very annoying. So <laughs> I just like to paint it on there and have it look pretty. I don't wanna do all that other stuff of removing it. So I just feel like dip is not for me even though they had some really funny powders. They had one that was called like Hot Cheeto Girl or something and it straight up looked like Hot Cheeto dust. I was like, that one, that one's for me. However, they did have nail oil. <laughs> Hot Cheetos nail oil. Um, absolutely, I bought this. And they had nail stickers. And so in total, I spent $29.19. And I'm not going to do like a full review on these two items because I feel like I can't do like a video on this. But I will give you a quick mini review here and now. So first of all, on the box, on the side here, it says... Enjoy the subtle yet fiery scent of Cheetos fingers anytime, anywhere. And if you want to repulse like 70% of your fan base or your purchasing base, that right there is what you write on the box because that intrigued me. And I know that anything that I like, most people are like, what is wrong with you? So that's where I knew that this was a product for me. It also said, uh, do not apply on damaged, infected, or sunburnt skin. And that had me concerned that this was going to be a spicy <laughs> cuticle oil. So the very first thing I did was put it on a paper cut because I was like, let's test it. It didn't burn. It didn't hurt or anything like that. So I don't think that it's really like burny, you know, but it is slightly like pinky orange tinged. It is very, very viscous. Like this is the thickest cuticle oil I've ever owned and it smells very unique amongst my cuticle oil collection so on the website it did list the notes as if it were a perfume so I'm gonna read those to you the top notes are lime zest sparkling citrus and green leaf and I do get a hint of that citrus the mid notes are spicy pepper cheese powder baked corn chip, wildflowers, and rose water. And I don't have like an attuned nose. I'm not like, I don't know, like who has an attuned nose? Is it like sommeliers? Like I, I just, I, my palate is basic. My nose is basic. I, I don't smell all these layers. What I do smell is a little bit of the pepper. So I smell a lot of like citrus and pepper and then the bottom notes are spicy pepper again, uh, salted butter, and salted musk. So it's kind of like a musky, peppery, zesty citrus scent. But it smells good. I really think so. I don't think it smells like food. Um, I think that it's an appropriate scent for a cuticle oil. But it is really funny that it's Flaming Hot Cheetos cuticle oil. Like I said, it is very viscous, so just putting a little drop on your skin, it kind of retains its shape, um, and one drop is enough for five plus fingers. It is, it, it's really a really good oil. If you are in the market for a new cuticle oil and you want to take kind of a weird risk, I recommend it. I really wholeheartedly, I've been using it every single day. I really like it, and I've had it for... Let's see, I ordered it on the 14th. I think it got here in like two days. Their turnaround time with their shipping was insane. And so I've been using it for a couple weeks at this point. I really enjoy it. As for the nail stickers, I haven't used any of them yet because I wanted to show you guys before I use them up. But I love, they have little puffy Cheetos and then like the scraggly witch finger Cheetos. I don't know what you call those. The ones that are like not puffy Cheetos, regular Cheetos. And then um, they got like little flames. They got the little flaming Hot Guy, Chester Cheetah. They've got like a big fire decal running across the bottom. They have chip bags and then like the flaming Hot logo. These spots here, I don't care about those, but everything else, like I just wanted all these tiny Cheetos and I want to put them on my fingers and I'm really excited about it. So yeah, that was, this is probably even though like these aren't polish, these were probably my favorite purchases for the month because I just thought they were so funny. 
So that was all I bought for the month. I do have a couple PR things I wanted to share with you guys as well. The first is this brand Love for Earth. They sent me this little six piece. This is, I mean, it's like for children, right? Obviously. Um, but these are peel off non-toxic odorless nail polishes. It came in like a little set of six. And I just, I'm gonna make like a little bit of like a reel or something for Instagram. But I wanted to check these out because this is something that I thought would be cool for, cause I used to babysit a ton. I used to, I don't know why I did a surprising amount of childcare when I was younger, but I thought these would be something that would have been great for like your babysitter's bag, you know, your bag of stuff to bring and, you know, play with the kids, especially for, younger kids who really enjoy having their nails painted, but you don't wanna have that long-term commitment of the polish because for one thing, like these are smaller bottles, so it's gonna be easier for a kid to use them on themselves because they, I, I'm assuming children have smaller hands than, than me. Um, so it'll be easier for them to use. And because they're water-based and non-toxic and peel off, it's just like a lot easier. You don't have to use acetone on their skin, which, I can't imagine is good for them. Um, so yeah, oh, they're they're made in Canada. It's like a Canadian-based brand, I believe. And then I was just gonna probably use them to make a little like reel or something. And then my cousin's daughter likes to paint her nails. Uh, and I thought that maybe I would just give them to her because I feel like they could probably use them. But yeah, it says to change the color, all you have to do is soak your nails in warm water for a couple minutes and then the polish will peel off super easily. And so like if you have kids or you watch kids who like to have their nails painted, but like I said, you don't wanna deal with all that excess stuff, this might be a really great option, uh, but I will keep you posted over on Instagram. The last thing that I have in PR is not here yet. So I, it's supposed to arrive tomorrow. And that's when I'm gonna edit this video. So if it does arrive, I'll take a picture and I'll put it in the corner. Um, but yeah, Orly, I got an email from them and they are sending me the, is it spring, summer? Is that how the breathable collections work? I'm getting the six piece collection for that. And it looks super cute. I've seen it already, like in spoilers online and just people posting theirs and things like that. So I'm excited to get that. And I kind of want to do some like water marbling with it. And I was going to say I want to do it on a stream. But, you know, I said I was going to get my stream up in March. But then my life got very hectic. Okay. And it's not like I'm not trying to make excuses. I know that I probably could have done it. But like my job, somebody's in the process of leaving. And who but Hillary should get all of that person's accounts. And so it's not like I'm at work any longer because my job is not big on overtime. But by the time I'm out of work, I'm just like, I'm over this and I don't want to think about anything. So I have not been doing much outside of work hours. And so I just got a little behind. So working on that fingers crossed for April. And then I got all my stickers in and I was gonna put them on Etsy to sell, but then that bank went under and I saw that people weren't getting paid from their Etsy accounts. I was like, let's wait a minute. Let's see if the bank thing resolves itself. I don't know. So those will be coming. Maybe I'll, if I remember, I'll pop up a picture of those too. Um, but yeah, I hope that I can get all that going in April. Sorry I'm delayed. Uh, I just didn't do what I was supposed to do. So it happens. But yeah, that's everything I got. So like I said, I started with $275.47. That is what I said, right? That is in fact what I said. Uh, so $275.47 and that came from the rollover of $68.56. And then my ad revenue and commission, which was $206.91. I spent $183.42, which I don't know. Like sometimes do you look at your pile of stuff and you're like, I don't think that was $182. Like, I don't know if that was a 182. Like that was a lot. I think the moon cat is quite expensive. So that's why, but that did leave me with a remainder, a rollover of $92.05. That will get added to what I can spend in April. At the end of this month, I'll know what my finalized ad revenue 
and commissions were for March and I'll add those in together, but it's looking like I'm going to have at least at least $300 to spend in April, but I don't know if you guys have like noticed a trend, but my rollover every month is getting bigger. I'm kind of trying to snowball that rollover, not for any particular reason, just because it's like I'm trying to actively think more about my purchases and and spend more time with the purchases I do make rather than just buy, 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 buy. You know what I mean? And I, I like to buy things, don't get me wrong, but I just, I don't know, I just want to be more mindful of how I'm spending my money, even though like this money is specifically made from nail polish for nail polish. I do kind of want to snowball that because what if out of the blue one day, there's like six collections that I'm like, I got to have all of these, but I don't have enough budget. Like I would feel really sad. So having that stockpile, I like having a safety net in like all my finances. So that's kind of what I'm subconsciously trying to do, I think, which is why I'm just not shopping as much polish, but it's not a bad thing. I like, I think that I still get enough to make content for you guys. And I still am buying what I really truly want. So it's like retraining your brain a little bit, you know? But yeah, that is it for my monthly haul. Let me know down below if you got anything cool. Let me know if the spring collections are catching your guys' eye. Like, like I said, for me, they're just not my thing. A lot of them, I like, pastels are cute. They are so cute together. I'm just not a pastel girly, you know what I mean? Like, I really like jewel tones. I really like vibrant tones. And I know pastels can be vibrant, but it's just... I'm just not as drawn to them mentally, I guess. So I've been having an easy time passing on all of the new pastel collections. All those, the Peeps themed ones are, they're trying to get me because I do love Peeps. But yeah, that was my haul. Let me know what you guys thought and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.